welcome so much to this channel i'd like to share with you ideas for employed people to gain an extra income so it can be side hustles or it can just be a plain idea that you can use to supplement your main source of income so welcome so much i'll not waste your time i know as employed people most of the time you sit back and ask yourself god do i even have the time to engage in other hustles i get from work at night i mean at uh, maybe 6 pm in the evening depending on where you are working and of course most people get to work at either 8 or 9 in the morning so the main question in your mind like right now is that where does cynthia think i'll get the time to start engaging in side hustles i know that because i've also been employed for a better part of my life and i'm still able to conduct a few side hustles here and there and i can attest to you that some of them work some of course fail depending on a lot of factors but if you dedicate your time and you find it in your heart especially to work on things that you actually click with in terms of passion then you are going to be able to earn that extra income from these ideas that I'm going to share with you now. The first idea that I'm going to share with you is consultation. I don't know if consultation has ever crossed your mind. So when I talk about consultation, I do not mean that you have to think about something very complicated. Let's say you are area of expertise in your day to day life. You work as an accountant. Why can't you create time over the weekend so that you share your consultative services with other people? People are struggling with the budgeting. Some small businesses and even moderate sized businesses are struggling with finances, accounting. Why can't you spare your time and advertise yourself as such? Just start within your circle, your immediate circle. By word of mouth, you can tell your colleagues at work, you know, if you're struggling with your budgeting, I'm here to help at a small fee. You can also use social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram. Nowadays, social media just pushes a lot of agendas. So you can market yourself as such. You just create a small digital advert where you talk about your services, just like I'm talking about this topic right now to the camera. And then you circulate it in terms of reels. You can also do the same on TikTok. There are just quite a number of uh, social media platforms that you can use to advertise yourself. Let's say you are uh, someone who's very passionate about photography and videography. I know many people have very smart gadgets in, 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 in this day and era. You have a good camera on your phone. You also may have a good uh, camera, not necessarily your phone. Why can't you use these gadgets that you have aside from just taking selfies and posting them on your whatsapp you can also take very great images and videos short reels then you you put them onto social media when people see them they like them people nowadays are looking out for photography services because many people want good images for various reasons in their lives so you start marketing yourself as such and then people if they have small events you can also approach them and tell them you know i can capture your event at a particular fee that is just how you start i know it may be difficult for employed people especially to put forth their ideas it may make you feel a bit complacent and that attitude may affect your ability to market yourself in your immediate hustle but over time, if you start to reach out to people, it becomes quite easy. It becomes quite um, sort of a second nature for you. And within no time, you'll find that you are able to approach people quite more easily. If you keep at it, I feel like depending on your dedication and how good you are at what you do, you will get customers. Something else that I've tried in the past is um, events management. You know nowadays if, if events are synonymous to weekends. Weekends are synonymous to events. There's no particular weekend that you'll find people not sitting up in a social forum for one reason or the other. So personally, I've also tried working as an events manager. And as big as the title may sound, it boils down to something very basic like just organizing an event such that people are able to get onto an event in time they are able to get sitting spaces 
they are able to get someone who convinced the event so that it runs according to schedule people are able to eat depending on the on the nature of the event and such kind of things and then you get to get your pay at the end of it all so marketing is important you need to let people know that this is what you do it is not significant that you start something that you don't talk about then people will not know what you're doing as soon as you've decided this is what you want to do then let people know that i am now in this kind of business within no time you'll find that your side hustle is growing and who knows it may boil and get bigger and bigger and you may eventually own a company that runs something very major and you may not have to leave your eight to five job in the first place so take Take heed to that. You can take that idea and run with it. But when all is said and done, it is not as flowery as it may sound on camera. You have to put in the work, you have to put in your effort, and you have to dedicate yourself as much as is possible for any side hustle or a business idea to be successful. The next idea that is rather straightforward but is quite capital intensive is you can buy and sell land. Tell me, buying and selling land, will that require that you get out of your work really? No, you just have to. In fact, life has been made easier by this. The internet has made life quite easy. Sometimes I just sit on my phone and I look at all the business opportunities that people can undertake. Some are very passive. If you wanted to buy land, you can first start by just scrolling over many platforms on the internet. There are many platforms that have been created about buying and selling land. And you can use such platforms even before you get onto the ground to find out the physical location or the physical presence of this land. Once you do that, you'll be able to locate legit land because there's also a catch there. It is important that you verify all the processes of getting into buy land so that you are not a con. There are many con men also on these streets. Then once you do that, you are able to be the authentic owner of this land. Make sure that you get the title deed. After that, you embark on uh, marketing. So you want to find a buyer for the piece of land that you bought. It may take quite some time, I know, maybe six months, maybe one year. But what is a fact for sure about land is that it never depreciates. Land always appreciates no matter where the land is. So it is almost a sure bet. You buy at a particular price and by the time you're selling it, trust me, you are going to make profit. Now, the third business idea that I'm going to share with you is an interesting one. And it is one that I have actually tried in the past and one that I still do. Even as I still sit here now to talk to you about these side hustles for employed people, there's one that I'm still doing and is paying me passively. So you can do online jobs. Online jobs is a very broad spectrum that may need quite some time to delve into, but I'm going to mention quite a few under online jobs that you can try to undertake. The first one that I can actually account for and I'm also doing is freelance writing. Previously, I've been doing online writing on different platforms, but currently I'm doing it at a freelance level and it pays. Once people know that you are able to do writing for them in different dimensions, you can do poems for people. You can write speeches for people. People who are going to present uh, speeches and they don't, they have the agenda, yes, but they do not know exactly how to put it down in a very good language. You can do that for them at a pay, of course. You can also do scripts for people. You can do um, even wedding vows for people. As long as you market yourself for these services and you put yourself out there so that People know, you know, if you need such kind of write-ups, you can always find Cynthia. Then, believe you me, every now and then you'll always be getting gigs that pay. The other very uh, considerate and sure way of doing online writing is by registering yourself under platforms like Upwork. I don't know if you've heard about Upwork. If not, you can search it up on the internet and find out. There's a platform called Upwork, which has two dimensions to it. You can register as a, a client or you can register as a freelancer. So I'd adv advise that you find the freelancer option and register yourself as such. And this is not only limited to online writing. If you are someone who can offer social media marketing, for example, or you can offer other digital um, services like graphic design, 
and so many other things that are currently now being done on the internet then you can register as such and market yourself on that platform you pitch for work so you'll find that clients also describe the kind of things or work that they want someone to do for them and you feel like if you meet the criteria you can apply and if you are lucky you get through with it the best thing about upwork is that it is a platform that controls payment so there is no incident where you can work for for someone or a client for that matter and they go scot free without paying you that can never happen on such platforms the other platform that i've not used so much is called fever other people call it fiverr but i'm aware that it is also one that is working for many people out here so online jobs can be in terms of uh, online writing you can also do transcription i've seen quite a number of people thrive in transcription you can also train people if you are someone like a teacher for example you are employed as a teacher yes but i believe teachers get quite some free time in their hands every now and then when children are on holiday i believe teachers are also on holiday or even at night you can create time as a trainer so that you train people online on different languages i've seen someone called divina a mother of uh, quadruplets who've been, who's been training people for quite some time now as a swahili teacher a swahili trainer and i believe um if if you dedicate your time and you do research and work according to what is expected from you from your clients i believe that these are business opportunities that can work for employed people very effectively the other thing that I think you can engage in it is not specifically a side hustle but it's something that you can use your money to put into so that it hatches profits for you or dividends over time is treasury bills and bonds and I'm not going to delve into this because I'm not a financial advisor I'm someone who is very optimistic about marketing I'm someone who is very informed about uh, business ideas that really work but I'm not going to pretend that I'm someone who can talk about managing your finances very effectively so that one i'm not going to delve into it but i believe that it is something that you can explore if you want more information about investing in treasury bills and bonds i want to send you to a youtube channel that is very informative i know of a financial coach that i for, I, I personally follow and i've been able to benefit very well in terms of managing my finances she's called susan wanjiku at the end of this video just take time and go find her youtube channel you will find a lot of informative content about investing in treasury bills and bonds and that is a sure way that you as an employed person can also undertake so that you augment your sources of income and then the final idea that i'm going to float to you that is working for me i'm not going to shop for ideas from the internet and come sit here and air them to you I'm talking about things that have been tried and tested, especially by myself. So this last idea is something that I've also benefited from for a number of years now. And I believe some of you are already doing this. But if you are not, please go and find a SACO. SACO. You need to be a member of a SACO. Gone are the days when you just get your salary and squander everything. You know, you not really squandering, sorry for using such a strong term. I mean, gone are the days when you get your salary and you plan for every single cent. You need to find w somewhere tangible where you can put a bit of your money. And for me, what has worked so far is I putting my money in a circle. So find out a good circle within your area of work. You can find out where your colleagues are, in, are investing their money. I call it investment because for a circle, it is quite different from it, w what you get when you put your money in a bank. And that is common knowledge. In a circle, you are sure of dividends at least after every year. And like when you put your money in the bank, instead you get the money deducted because there are monthly service fees and what kind of um, deductions. But in a circle, your deposits are safe there, depending on how strong the circle is. Then at the end of the year, you are able to get dividends. Aside from that, if you've put quite some amount of money, you are able to inv you engage in... Um, Let's say you wanted to build a house or you wanted to, you know, you want to buy a car. Who, who doesn't want nice things? Maybe you feel like it's time you want a car and it doesn't matter if you're buying your car from alone. Nowadays, cars are becoming quite a necessity, especially for families. So you want to nice yourself and buy a car. 
you'll just go and apply for a loan from your circle against your deposits and you are able to find fund that uh, fancy idea that you have so i'd advise that if you're not a member of a circle please go find one that works for you find out the history find out for how long this circle has been in existence and then see it right that you join one i hope as an employed person you are able to venture into any of these ideas that i've floated here for you and if you are already doing any of them please don't shy away from telling me your ideas in the comment section. We always learn every day. But the fact that I'm sitting in front of this camera and sharing these ideas with you does not mean that I'm perfect. I'm just someone who is very high on sharing ideas with people. And what greater way to leave a legacy on earth if you cannot share with people, especially at my age right now, I've seen quite some. I know some of the viewers on my channel are quite younger. I've seen even people ranging between 18 years to 35 follow and being ardent followers of this channel. And I'm very grateful. That is why I find content that you can relate with. I find content that is relatable and I bring it here to you. It doesn't mean that I'm perfect. It only means that I'm able to share out of my experience so that you are able to make better choices in your lives. And with that, thank you so much for sticking up to the end of this video. Until the next one, it is bye for now.